Hello, I'm Joe Kalunda from R&M Equipment Company. And the video we're doing today is on starting up your new roots blower packages. Whatever I'm about to go over, I'm going to show you. It's all inside this manual. And the startup section is on page 8 under operation. It'll tell you all the steps for a, a safe startup. The first thing you're going to do before you start up your packages is you're going to do a visual look at them and make sure everything looks okay. You want to make sure nothing's damaged. You want to make sure all the nuts and bolts are tight. Nothing happened in shipment. You want to look and see if Maybe a mechanic left a tool on the base. Look at it up. Maybe a mechanic left a bottle of pop. So you want to clean all that off. Hey, <laughs> a rag. You want to clean it all off and make sure that it's in good shape to start. The next thing you're going to look at is the lower oil level. Very important that it's oiled halfway on the front and halfway to the center of the back sight gauges. If it's not full, correct it before you start it up. Once you get the oil level taken care of, the next thing you're going to look at is belt tension. So you're going to take off the belt guard bolt on either end. You take the belt cord off and this is what you're going to see. Now we here at r and when we line them up, we have a belt alignment tool. It's a laser tool and you can see the laser will tell you when you're spot on lined up. Now many people don't have this tool, so an alternate way of doing it will be taking a straight edge and running it across from the face of each shift. And you make your belt, uh, you make sure it's in alignment, if it's out of alignment, you're going to want to correct the alignment and make sure the belt tension is correct before you start the blower. Here at r and we use a tensioning tool. It takes away any of the guesswork from people just, yeah, that's tight. This will tell you exactly what the setting is. It will tell you how much deflection. And you have an O-ring up here that tells you how many pounds it takes to deflect it. You put this in the center. You push until the O-ring is level with the other, the sister belt. And this will tell you how many pounds of deflection it took to get it deflected, whatever the spec is. All these specifications will be in your O&M manual get a complete O&M manual with the blower package for everything. Not just this one, this will be part of it. So, once your belts are tensioned and aligned, you make sure you put the guard back on, tighten it down, and you're going to go and you're going to look at your airway. You have air in and air out. If you have any blockages in these airlines, it could cause a problem. So you want to make sure your valves are open and you have a place for the air to go. Now, you want to make sure you get the correct rotation of the blower. So on top of your belt bars, it'll tell you what the rotation is. In this particular one, it's counterclockwise. 
So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a... Well, let me ask you this. What happens if you start the blower and it's going the wrong direction? Could have bad results because you have a check valve. And this check valve is designed to blow air one direction. Air can't come back through. And always want to make sure, by the way, that your hinge pin is vertical. And that will tell you, if you look here, you can see those are in the top position. We know this valve is in the vertical position. Now, if you have a check valve in there and that blower spins the wrong direction, there's no air coming in. It's very possible you could ruin a silencer or ruin the blower. So there are two things you could do. One is loosen up the belt before you start it and make sure the rotor, bump the motor and make sure it's turning the right rotation. And then tighten the belts back up. Most of our guys use a short. What we do is we look for the relief valve. In this case, it's here. In many cases, it may be out here. We'll, uh, we'll loosen up the relief valve, take it out, and now we have an open airway. So if we bump the blower and it's turning backwards, air can get into the blower and it won't ruin anything. Now, with that airway open, you go to your electric panel, you bump the blower, or you bump the, the motor to start up, and you watch it wind down and make sure you have the right rotation. If it's rotating in the wrong direction, you switch any two wires, and it'll change the direction of the motor. <clears throat> Once you're satisfied that the motor's turning in the right, right rotation, you're now ready for startup. So what we like to do on startup is we like to start the blower under no load. So if there's a way to take your air to atmosphere or um, to a tank with no water in it, maybe, um, we like to run it under no load or at least a light load, four or five or ten minutes. And while it's running, we listen or we look for hot spots where the uh, impeller may be rubbing. We check for excessive vibration. And we listen for any kind of funny noises, metal to metal noises, hammering, something that would show uh, there's a problem with the blow. Let me step back here a minute, too, because this is another important step before startup. Always check to see that the blower rotates freely. If you go like that and the blower don't want to move, there's a problem that has to be corrected before you hit the button. In this case, this blower is turning freely. There's no problem starting at all. After you start the blower up and it runs for five, maybe 10 minutes, we like to put it under a load and run it for a half an hour. Let it come up to temperature because when it's under load, it's gonna start heating up because when you compress air, you get heat. And again, we monitor it for vibration. We look for leaks. We, we feel for hot spots. Make sure the belts are looking like they're tight enough. And at that point, when everything checks out, you're almost ready for continuous duty. There's one more check you may or may not have to do in three, four hours, maybe the next day, is the belts may wear in and get loose, and you may have to readjust them. You don't always have to do it, but Consider, keep that in mind that you may have to readjust the belts after some wear in period. After that, the blower is ready for continuous duty. You can run it around the clock. 
the first week, you should look at it once a day, just for any leaks, anything running, any hot spots, any vibrations, any problems. And then after that, your checks can become less often. If you follow these proper procedures and steps, again, all of them inside the manual here, you won't have any problems. These blowers will last you many, many years of carefree service. Thanks for watching this video.